Hi everyone. Today we're going to do a PLC program example pick and place and we're going to test our program out. We'll also see the sequence of operation uh, within the program itself. So if you look at the my screen here, what I have is the factory I.O. and it's connected to my uh, Bricks PLC via my Ethernet which is located right here. You can see that I have my communication links and they're going. So we'll uh, look at the actual process and my uh, application is currently running. We'll just change our um, view here and what you'll see is we have boxes or items coming down the conveyor belt. They go and they see this incoming sensor. It, the Z axis will go down. A gripper will pick the box up. It'll the, bring the Z axis back up. Then it will extend and put it back onto the conveyor where we see the exit and it will then continue on and then slide down the exit chute. So if we look at an individual here, you can see my conveyor. Now every time it picks up, it stops and when it hovers and lays, puts it back down, it'll also stop the conveyor. So that's the basic operation. And then our control panel here, we have a stop, we have a start, and then we have a reset and we have a jog and manual operation. So let's take a look at uh, a first person view. We'll click uh, this device here and we'll follow this. And we'll zoom in a little bit. It's kind of a neat idea that we can actually view exactly what's happening um, in a first person view so that we know exactly what's going to happen to the part. So there we're in front of the sensor. We pick it up, moving it over and then putting it back down again. And then what you'll find is once we get the there goes again, we go back to the exit. So one of the nice things about factory IO is I can actually play around with the boxes and make things stop. So what happened was I moved this box out of the way. And now what we'll do is we will actually look at the control panel and we'll see it's a minus one. Minus one represents a, um, an error on our exit. So what we'll do is we will just stop this. You see our count goes back the same and then we'll just start it up again. Actually we'll reset first. And now we'll start. And now we continue where we left off, minus that one box. So we can also do other things. Let's try a different one. There we go. Okay. Now we'll take a look. You see our Z axis came down. It didn't pick up anything. So now let's look at our screen. Now it says minus five, which actually represents our Z axis as it comes down. So once again, we'll hit stop. We will reset, putting everything back home again. And now we can start again. Go back here and uh, so there's our box there and box there that represents our two faults that we had. So testing out the system, we want to make sure that we test every possible um, way we, we want. Now, what we actually see are seeing here is my Bricks PLC controlling this through Modbus TCP. And the unit's actually programmed by the Do More designer software which you'll see running in the background here controlling just monitoring what's happening within my bricks
Now in order to program this, we use the five steps of development. Now if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.